What's up everyone? Today I want to talk to you about one specific thing I have found common in a lot of successful people, millionaires, entrepreneurs, people who have achieved their goals in life. So I have a whole uh, flurry of common threads and common themes and traits I've found in most, it's not always all, but most entrepreneurs after analyzing and reading about hundreds. And today I want to share with you one of the biggest ones. So what is this trait? And it's not just about making money, it's about achieving what you want in life. And what we're going to be talking about today is simply finding the right reason, finding the why. And I think this is very important. You have to have a why that is strong enough. If you don't have a motivation that is strong enough to achieve your goal, you will not push through hard enough because so many people underestimate how hard it is to get to their goal. They underestimate it tremendously and they don't realize the obstacles and the hardships that must be done, all the hard work that has to be put in, the hours, the days, the years, and they fail to do anything. And uh, if they ever do anything, they don't put in the amount of work required. One of the big reasons this is the case is because there is a lack of why or the why is not strong enough. The why is very trivial. One of the most common trivial whys is, oh, I want to do this because I want to uh, sit on a Caribbean island or tropical island for the rest of my life and just be on an eternal vacation. Oftentimes, that type of leisurely why is not a strong enough motivator for you to push through and, and get to where you want to get to. Um, so you have to uh, figure out what you have to do to get there and um, oftentimes you can use different strategies to merge these two uh, together or use different whys in conjunction uh, to come together and get to your goal because uh, let's say you do have a somewhat weak why to begin with. Uh, you want to make good money to be able to have the lifestyle that you want um, and so one way of um, using another technique to add together to this is to uh, find a way of creating that money that also is fun and also that, uh, that you enjoy to a certain extent. And therefore, by doing this, uh, you don't have to plow through and just make money in an industry or field or job that you absolutely hate or you despise or you're miserable at each day. And that's pretty much like moving upstream every day. I've been there. It's horrendous and everything's pushing against you because you hate what you're doing. And you're not enjoying it and you don't enjoy learning about it and getting better at it. So you can work on finding uh, things that you are more passionate about. It doesn't have to be something you're excessively passionate about because I think that's, an, uh, you know, that's tough to find. You can look for that, um, but just start considering these things. And then I want to conclude with this final point on um, the two big drivers for finding your motivation, finding your why. And these are positive and negative drivers. Tony Robbins talks about this a lot. So basically, um, everything according to Tony Robbins either comes from positive or negative drivers. So uh, in terms of your motivation, positive drivers would be things like, oh, if I can get there, I will be rewarded with money or the lifestyle I want or the things I want or the, the people I want in my life, or whatever else. So these are positive aspects of getting to your goal or while you're going towards your goal. And then there are negative drivers too, like if I don't do this, I will be stuck in this horrible lifestyle which I hate. And these can be just as strong if not stronger. Things such as, um, you know, I absolutely hate my current lifestyle and I would do anything to get out of it because it sucks, it's boring, it's lame, and my job is miserable. And if those pains are strong enough, and here's the key thing, if you use them in the right way, if you use them in the wrong way, you can end up just being uh, you know, consumed with envy or resentment and jealousy and then going on like a mass murdering rampage. I've seen that before, which is not the way to go. Um, if you use that correctly, and you use your negative drivers, you can start moving towards your goal. So that's it in a nutshell. That's what I wanted to say. Um, as far as um, uh, 
working to manufacture these uh, positive and negative drivers, you can start doing things. Perhaps things that you uh, think as positive drivers, you can start uh, working to shape into negative drivers. Things like uh, fatty foods, sweets, sugars. Oftentimes the initial reaction is, ooh, this tastes great, I'll take some. Um, you may want to start using techniques to emphasize those uh, as negative drivers. So maybe tape a poster of your, yourself naked next to these foods so you realize what you look like and realize where you want to get to in terms of fitness. So that's all I got to say in a nutshell. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts. If you have any questions, I'll try and look at those and answer them. And I will see you in my next video. See ya.